Neverland is home to lost boys like me. Lexi Stewart stands out from the rest of her family for the musical talent she didn't get from her mom. This 15-year-old was conceived with a sperm donor. But it was Lexi that came to me probably a few years ago now and said, you know, Mom, I probably have siblings out there. We kind of, like, came upon the idea of, like, registering with the donor sibling registry, and that's just kind of how it all started. The donor sibling registry is a privately run website out of Colorado. The U.S. has no government-run registry. So that's how the kids and, and the families can all find each other. Sperm donors are anonymous, so they're tracked by a unique code. Registering on this site is voluntary. Not all siblings or donors are found. Like I come to school and they're like, I have 15 brothers and sisters. <laughs> Lexi and Kim okay. met two Somebody of the 15 can, uh, siblings okay. in July. Three, two, one, take your blindfolds off. <laughs> Briley Lewis is Lexi's half brother from Kansas. Going into the meeting, you know, it was. I guess awkward a little at first because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's supposed to happen, but we all just fell into place really well. Katie Kemether is Lexi's half sister from New Jersey. I just think that the most amazing thing about it is that we all get to be here and we get to spend our time together. They all share a love of music, similar looks and treats. Teens think that more donor-conceived children should be able to meet and bond with half-siblings. Right now in Canada, there's no government-regulated registry that keeps track of people conceived through sperm donation. But some health and legal advocates say the government should be tracking this kind of information. When you're dealing with sensitive information, health information, um, genetic relationships between individuals, that's the type of information that you want to be kept and stored and collected by the government. But Lexi Stewart is just happy a private registry exists and she was able to find her new family members. The family is like a group of people that love each other and like share genetics and like that's us. Julie Ireton, CBC News, Ocean City, New Jersey.